Yeah, game two. Um, it's a, um, a little bit of a, 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 a different night, um, one that I'm very, very excited about. Um, a, lot of, um, um, a lot of emotions when you raise a banner uh, saying you're a, you're a Big Ten champion. Um, those stay up there for as long as they keep them up, I guess, or as long as the building's up, and, and maybe forever. Um, and, uh, and then you get a ring. And in, in, in the sport of basketball, we play for those. And that's the ultimate um, um, sign of success. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's really exciting to me to know that Trent Frazier got on a plane and flew 13 hours uh, so he could be here for this. Um, DeMonte Williams will be here for this. Uh, Kofi stayed so he could be here for this. Uh, we've got reports Alfonso Plummer's coming back. Um, he's been in, <clears throat> in Mexico with the G League team. Um, and um, every indication is he'll be here. Um, and when guys interrupt everything they're doing to become part of something uh, that's really special. Um, and I think that speaks volumes to their, um, their level of, of, of um, not just interest, but their level of, of, of uh, investment in Illinois basketball. And uh, I, I, I love those guys. I'm, I'm excited for them to have, to have their night. Uh, uh, so we'll do that. Uh, I hope all the fans come out early. Um, you know, I hope they're here to celebrate that moment uh, as we celebrated the moment when we when we won it on the court. And I hope there's everybody here to uh, to remember that um, that day, that night, um, <clears throat> and uh, celebrate it one last time. You know, for 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 that group and, and for them to come back. Um, I hope that uh, all of our fans are here to, to show them the love that they deserve because there's, there's, there's a lot of, lot of investment uh, from DeMonte, from, from, from Trent, all those guys uh, to making that happen. And, and those two in particular uh, were here when it, was, when it was rocky, you know, when it was getting started. So uh, to hang a banner means, means a great deal, and, and I'm excited about that. Uh, tomorrow evening and then we've got to shift gears very quickly and play uh, one of the biggest teams in college basketball. Uh, UMKC is, is uh, extremely big. Um, it's been a long time, I think, since I've seen, seen a team that big. Uh, they've got two excellent guards who are upperclassmen. Uh, both led them last night uh, at LSU in a game that was a dogfight. Um, <clears throat> they are uh, in my opinion, they they've they've throw the kitchen sink at you defensively uh, in terms of uh, pressing two three zone man to man. Uh, they showed a little one three one. Um, so we'll see a, a lot of different things, which will be good. Uh, I think they're extremely good on the offensive glass. Uh, <clears throat> so that'll challenge us in terms of of, of blocking out and, and and the things we've got to do there. But um, uh, Marvin's done an excellent job every place he's been, and and um, you know he's got that thing, uh, uh, you know, starting at the, you know on the on the on the ground floor. He's got a lot of freshmen, but they're very talented, and and they're unique in the fact that they are very big. They play extremely hard, and uh, so we've got to be uh, dialed in. It'll be a different test uh, in a lot of ways. And then, then anything we've seen, and we'll see different defenses, and we'll have to handle that. So um, it's uh, uh, game two, and you know we've got to continue to grow after the first game, and and um, you know we'll uh, we'll see what it looks like tomorrow night. Out of curiosity, have you seen the rings? The players sing them, and uh, did you have any input on what they would look like? Yeah. Had input, haven't uh, uh, haven't seen them on purpose. Uh, you know, I think that's that's part of the. It's kind of like walking in an oven. You know, before it's done, you don't want to do that. You want. I just wanted to see the final product. Um, but we had some we had some say on some 
on some key things that we wanted um, that we wanted on there um, and 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 how to look and um, but uh, yeah those things are are uh, I've been very blessed I've got a few of them and it's really nice to to, to have those and create long long lifetime memories really long time forever you know and put one on every now and then and remember everything that went into that uh, and that team uh, is 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 pretty special with Dan I know he was able to get the ball down low a lot in the season opener how important is it to have another center with that kind of presence to complement Coleman in those five outsets yeah Dane's uh, Dane's tremendous and and we've we've got to continue to find opportunities for him uh, you know he's he's very very skilled either hand right left hand uh, you know he can put it on the on the on the on the floor and bounce it with a uh, with some quickness and some authority and power um, and um, uh, you know creating those opportunities is 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 my job and and yet he is very different than uh, than Coleman so we've got a uh, you know, we've got a, a, got a little package that we run and like to run with him. And yet uh, uh, the thing that was really encouraging was, you know, I feel pretty comfortable, you know, sliding Coleman down, um, you know, the four spot. Uh, and I uh, feel like that, uh, you know, that lineup can be something we look at. Coach, how have RJ Melendez and Matthew Meyer shot the ball in practice? Are you expecting to see them break out a little bit? Shoot or shoot. I'm never going to tell them not to. You know, they, it's what they do. Uh, you know, RJ's the same guy that shot 60% last year and didn't miss. And, and uh, you know, it's, it's uh, uh, you, know, you know, Matt get, gets good looks. They make him every single day. And, and you know, I'm not going to be the one to tell him not to shoot. I'm going to tell him to shoot good shots and, and uh, to keep shooting them because they're in there practicing. And, and we know that their track record is that they're going to make them. So, you know, it's one game and I'm not going to get too wrapped up over one game. It's been a long time coming for Dane to get that opportunity. Uh, what can that do for somebody's confidence when he's waited for that and then he comes out and posts a double-double in his first game? Yeah, I tell you, the thing that I was really impressed with with Dane was, was, was not the points. We, we knew he could do that. I mean, he kicked our ass last year on the scout team on a pretty regular basis. We knew he could, he could score the ball. Um, his effort. I mean, his tenacity, his toughness. I mean, his, he played so hard. Um, yeah, I mean, he ran the floor. I mean, it, it was um, it was an impressive stint. And, and then just to, to go snatch rebounds and, and to get rebounds that were out of his area. Um, you know, that was uh, – it's, it's one thing to do it in practice, and it's another thing to go have that ability to turn it up a level. And to go do it in a game, and uh, you know, and and, and I'm, I'm excited for that because I thought his effort was was outstanding, and 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 he really dominated the game when he was in the game, just simply because of his effort. I mean, and with Dane missing all of his freshman year at Baylor, just when he got here mid year last year, just was there a moment when you saw, like maybe saw some things like I remember that seeing him in high school, and maybe he's getting. You know, back to to what you thought he he was. Yeah, it took a while to get to those points. Um, you know, obviously a, a foot injury keeps you pretty inactive, and and you know, there's no secret. Dane was heavy. Uh, he'd gained a lot of weight, and uh, you know, really, truly, before we could expect to see a lot, we had to get him in shape, and uh, you know, that's a tribute to to him. Because uh, every day it was the it was the, the the Fletch meat grinder. I mean, it was it was putting him through it, and uh, you know, getting him off um, you know off uh, onto a onto a strict diet, getting him um, you know working out multiple times a day, um, and then doing it at a, at a at a pace that he didn't get injured. You know, he, he, there's it's not easy to lose weight when you're um, and you just can't keep going all the time. Sometimes you got to slow down. Your body breaks down, and and uh, Dane stayed strong. He stayed committed. He stayed stayed dedicated, and uh, you know by postseason time, you know he was he was a handful in practice, and um, you know he was he did a great job on the scout squad and and gave us great looks, and and it was enough to keep us very very excited as a coaching staff. 
Coach, you mentioned a number of times this fall the goal of getting Matt in great shape. Where do you think he's at in that process, and how have you seen the buildup in trying to reach that? He's getting there. You know, it's 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 a um, um, it, it's an everyday deal. You know, I mean, you come out, you work every day, and yesterday we had a he had a great great day of practice, coming off a day off, and. And uh, you know he he found the gym the day off and was shooting a bunch of balls and and uh, you know the thing that happens with conditioning is it, confidence confidence comes from from that being in great shape when you know that you're uh, you can go longer and you can you can do things it's it's still uh, you know my definition of great shape isn't how long you play it's how quickly can you recover and uh, um, you know I think he's. Um, he's gaining on it, and 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 I think he's 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 getting himself into pretty good shape, and and uh, not peak shape yet, but uh, but he's getting there. You mentioned uh, handling their size as a key. What what are some other keys for you guys tomorrow night? Yeah, I mean, they were, uh, keeping them off the glass is one of the big keys. Uh, this is a big physical team. I mean, when you look at their bodies, I mean, you're gonna you're gonna see a. A very very mature, physically strong basketball team, and uh, uh, you know you've got to you've got to hit them. Uh, you've got to keep them off the glass. They've got length, um, and then they've uh, uh, you know they, they've got two guards that are really electric in transition. I think they drew 15 or 16 fouls last night against LSU, um, so they live in the paint, um, and uh, you know they haven't. <clears throat> They, I think, made two or three threes last night. Um, but they are a downhill driving it team. And we've got to be very, very solid and not put them on the line. LSU put them on the line a good a good deal, and, and that's what kept the game close. <clears throat> Maybe what – Things did you take out of the yeah, you game and as many points of emphasis uh, for tomorrow night? Is anything? I mean, anything particular that stood out that you wanted to address? Yeah, you know, I I, I thought in the first half, watching the game, it was a really different. Um, I wasn't sure how we played offensively, I, and and when I got home and I watched it, I, I really liked a lot of the things that we did. Our mo our movement, we. We caused a lot of confusion on the defensive side. I thought with, uh, you know, with some of our blurs and our, uh, and our what we call a throw and go, and uh, it got Coleman looks. We got Coleman shots in the right places. Uh, we missed some layups, uh, you know. And then I thought, um, you know, Sky was tremendous in in terms of his defensive rebounding, his pitch aheads, uh, got us a bunch of baskets. Uh, I saw one of the best plays I've seen in probably a long, long time by Terrence, um, you know, on a, on an effort play that we turned the ball over on a baseline out and he sprinted from the deep corner and blocked it, fell down after he blocked it, got up, sprinted to the other end of the court and kept an offensive rebound alive uh, on a missed shot. And that effort was just, I mean, it's championship effort. And, uh, uh, we showed our guys that um, a lot, of, a, a lot, because it was a special play. And um, but I, you know, I think there were some good things. I, you know, there were some things that we learned defensively that that they did that caused us some problems. Um, and uh, we spent yesterday. We'll spend a little bit today trying to clean those things up. But uh, uh, yeah, it's early, and we're going to make some mistakes. And and that's the great thing about film is we can go clean them up. for maybe most everyone on this roster to be able to grab a rebound and then go themselves without having to you know, kick it to somebody else? Just how much does that allow you to jump right into that offensive style that you want? Yeah, that's, we spent a lot of time this summer working on that. Uh, that's one of the things that, um, uh, you know, having versatile guys who can handle it, uh, that's one of the things we, we – we want to do, you know, IO became great at it. You know, IO became that triple double guy when he figured out, Hey, let me defensive rebound so I can start the fast break myself and get in the open court. And, uh, um, but I thought we, 
we were solid in that. And it, but I thought I was really pleased with Sky because I thought Sky did a great job of pitching the ball ahead, and it got us easy baskets, and it got us clean looks at three, and and you know what we call slicing the floor. He sliced the floor two or three times and pitched it ahead, and uh, we actually missed one or two layups off that. Uh, those are the little things that. Yes, we want to rebound and go. We also want to rebound and pitch it ahead and get guys out running. And, and uh, um, that's something that um, we think can be a real strength for this team. I know it's just one game, but is the, what you got from the bench, is that, that making you feel a little bit better about replacing Luke until he gets back? Do you, do you have a little bit more depth than maybe you thought you had? Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I feel good about that game. I, you know, I think it's, it's um, you know, it was a game that, I don't know, we got up to 35, so it's got a little different vibe when you're up like that. So maybe that's a little bit skewed from the the production side of things. But um, I, I look very much at productivity and, um, and, and how the energy of the game changed. Sincere changed the energy. He changed the, 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 the vibe. He's done that in all three of our contests to this point. Um, and... Uh, you know, I think I think you know Jaden brings a uh, some positive. Obviously, Dane impacted the game at a very very high level. Um, you know, and then you know Ty just stuffs a stat sheet. So uh, I, I like that. But it's um, you know we need to see a little more. You know, see a few more games and how that how that continues to play out and how we how we like that. After the game, you said something along the lines of Jaden passing up some shots that you would like to see him put up. I mean, is that just a freshman in his first college game? Did you have any discussions with him in the last few days about just letting it go? Yeah, shoot the ball when you're open. He's that's he's an elite scorer. Um, oh, you guys saw him on the circuit. I mean, it's what he does. And I think the one thing that um, he's he's trying so hard to do the right things, and sometimes you you you've. You, you, you just have to go. You just got to play. You got to be you. And, you know, if you bring two to you and a ball screen, then pass it. And 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 I don't want him to, to lose, uh, or Sky, I don't want him to lose their their initiative, their assertiveness, their aggressiveness. I want, it, I want them to be under control, and yet, um, uh, you know, they've got to, they've got to be who they are. And uh, that comes with time. But... Uh, um, you know, b both those guys are are doing a lot of really good things, and and uh, you know, we're a lot is asked of them. Um, but um, yeah, I've not told him not to shoot. I want him to shoot. You said your guys might be tired of hearing about Trent, but to have him come back with Demonte Kofi being here to see the banner go up, what value can that be to your team, particularly the new guys that see what they accomplished and see what's, oh, what's possible? That, that's why I hope I hope the the building's filled. When they, when they, when we do this, I hope it's, uh, hope it's a little different. Than last year, last year we kind of building wasn't real full. When we, I hope it's full. Um, I hope our guys get to see that and experience that. Man, those are that's that's a, you know, and and I really don't care if our guys are tired of hearing about Trent. It's they got a lot of season left. They're going to hear about him a lot more. But uh, um, you know, it's 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 really nice to. Um, means so much to me to have those guys want to come back for this and, and be a part of that. And, and I mean, that's, that's really a cool deal. And I think it shows their love for this place and their program and, and it means so much. And I mean, who gets on a 13 hour flight, you know, I mean, you better love something a lot to get on a 13 hour flight so you can be a part of something that might take 15 minutes. And, uh, you know, that, that stuff's, Pretty cool, and and so they can be they can get tired of me talking about Trent, but um, you know I know where his heart is, and and um, and all those guys. I mean I know how hard they they worked and all the all the all that went into winning a winning a title here. Thank you.